Military helicopters are instrumental in armed operations and therefore are constantly being made more and more advanced. But if you think only the US and Russia have the world's most powerful helicopters, well you need to watch this video because the countries that have the most powerful military helicopters are going to surprise you. Number 10. CAIC Z-10 China Developed by the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, the CAIC Z-10 is also known as WZ-10, an attack helicopter asset of the People's Republic of China. It has been designed for anti-tank warfare missions with a secondary air-to-air -air capability as well. Kamov Design Bureau of Russia helped the Chinese government under a contract for the primary design but was further developed and flight tested by the 602nd Research Institute under Wu Ximing. The design was built by Chang'e Aircraft Industries Corporation CAIC, thus getting its name from the corporation. This incredible fighting helicopter saw its first flight in 2003 and was introduced in 2012. 300 units of CAIC Z-10 have been produced and the helicopter has been seen performing live fire drills at Indian-China border. Number 9. Danel Ruivalk AH-2 South Africa Belonging to the armed assets of South Africa, the Danel Ruivalk, previously known as AH-2 and CSH-2, is a powerful attack helicopter manufactured by Danel Aviation. The development of this helicopter began in 1984 by the Atlas Aircraft Corporation and was closely connected to the Atlas Oryx transport helicopter. Ruavalk is Afrikaans for Red Falcon. The helicopter had its first maiden flight in 1990 and was first delivered to the South African military in 2011. But this super combat helicopter has the lowest production numbers of any attack helicopter on our video, with only 12 procured to the Army. Of the 12 manufactured, one was written off after an accident. Still, it is remarkable that South Africa was able to develop and produce such a complicated piece of military machinery. It does speak volumes for South Africa's surprisingly large domestic arms industry. Number 8. AH-64 Apache, America Part of America's most modern military arsenal, the AH-64 Apache is the main attack helicopter of America's Army. Augusta Westland Apache is another variant of this helicopter being used by the British military. The Apache was first developed and introduced in 1985. Almost 2,400 AH-64 Apaches have been procured for military use, making it one of the most highly produced helicopters in modern history and is considered to be one of the most advanced multi-role combat helicopters. These helicopters have been demonstrated to be fully capable of military operations in a safe and effective manner on the battlefield. Number 7. Eurocopter Tiger, Europe Since 2003, this European-made attack helicopter has been in service and listed in the most powerful helicopters in the world ever since. It is a four-bladed, twin-engined attack helicopter and is considered an answer to the American Apache, but the number of units produced of this combat helicopter are way less than the American counterpart, with around 180 Eurocopters being procured. German, French, Spanish, and Australian militaries are simultaneously using it whereas the Australian Army is planning to replace Apache with Eurocopters in the near future. Following their languages, in Germany it is known as the Tiger, in France and Spain it is called the Tiger. It was initially intended as an anti-tank platform against the feared Soviet invasion of Western Europe during the Cold War. It however has been seen in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, and Mali. Number 6. T-129 Attack Turkey Part of the Attack and Tactical Reconnaissance Helicopter Program, T-129 Attack has been jointly designed and developed by Augusta Westland and Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. The T-129 Attack Helicopter is based on the AW-129 and its predecessor the A-129 Mangusta. 
In March of 2007, the Turkish Armed Forces had a $3 billion contract with Augusta Westland for 51 plus 41 optional A129 Augusta helicopters to be assembled as the T-129 by TAI, the prime contractor for the attack program. The development commenced in July of 2008, and the maiden flight of the T-129 P-1 prototype took place on the 28th of September, 2009. In November of 2010, Turkey placed a 150 million euro contract with Augusta Westland for nine T-129 attack helicopters, bringing the total number of orders to 60. The T-129 attack is a multi-role combat helicopter optimized for specific hot and high performance requirements of the Turkish armed forces. The copter has a tandem seat, twin engine, NATO interoperable attack helicopter optimized for attack, armed reconnaissance, precision strike, and deep strike missions at day and night in all environments and regardless of weather conditions. Azerbaijan, Jordan, Malaysia, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and the United Arab Emirates have all expressed interest in the T-129 helicopter. Number 5. Mil Mi-24, Soviet Union With more than 2,768 units produced, the Mil Mi-24 is in service in militaries all around the world. It is a large Soviet-made helicopter gunship, which was first introduced into service back in 1972. Soviet pilots dubbed Mil Mi-24 as the hind or the flying tank. This multi-role combat helicopter has been in active combat in conflicts all around the world, and today it is in service in some 48 countries globally. Significantly enough, they do not have any direct NATO counterpart in any Western military in the US or European militaries. The Soviets were way ahead of their time by producing this masterpiece of military arsenal. The copter has provided service in Afghanistan, Libya, Hungary, Mongolia, and Venezuela. Russian helicopters holding has developed a common standard for Mi-24 modernization designated as Mi-35P. Number 4. Harbin Z-19, China Also known as WZ-19, is a new Chinese-made reconnaissance and attack helicopter that was added to the People's Liberation Army arsenal in 2012. Quite surprisingly, it is a combat variant of the French-designed Eurocopter Dauphin and is actually built under license in Chinese. It is not a common practice for the Western military equipment to be built under license in China. The copter is expected to support and fight with the heavier attack helicopter, the CAIC WZ-10, that was number 10 on our list. Number 3. Kamov Ka-50, Black Shark, Russia The design and development of Kamov Ka-50, popularly known as the Black Shark, began by the Soviets in 1982, and it was first delivered to the Russian military in 1995. This single-seat and double-blade attack helicopter is mostly used as a heavily armed scout helicopter. It has been claimed that Kamov Ka-50 Black Shark is the first operational helicopter to feature an emergency ejection system. It also has a variant named Kamov Ka-52, which was dubbed as the Alligator by NATO, that has a tandem seat cockpit. The Kamov has been deployed by Russia in their intervention in Syria. This is probably the first ever filmed combat use of Russian-made Ka-52 Alligator helicopter operating and targeting ISIS in Syria. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Number 2. Milmi-28, Havoc, Russia This extremely powerful Russian-made helicopter has been dubbed Havoc by NATO. It has been designed as a dedicated anti-armor attack helicopter that can function day and night and in all weather conditions. 
It made its maiden flight in the Soviet Union in 1982, but it was first introduced in the military arsenal of the Russian military not until 2009. This helicopter has no intended secondary transport capability and is better optimized than the Milmi-24 gunship for the role. It carries a single gun in an undernose barbette, plus external loads carried on pylons beneath stub wings. 126 units of this marvelous helicopter have been produced, with some units being exported to Algeria and Iraq. The Russians have actively used the Mi-28 during their intervention in Syria. Number 1. AH-1Z Viper, America This helicopter has been engineered for the extremes and is fully capable of eliminating threats at unimaginable range. With anti-armor and air-to-air -air missiles, the design of Bell AH-1Z can destroy targets in the most extreme environments. It is equipped with a General Dynamics M197 20mm three-barreled Gatling gun capable of firing up to 1,500 shots per minute and also carries a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, AIM-9X projected, and 2.75 inches 70 millimeter Hydra-70 rockets. It's a twin-engine attack helicopter based on the AH-1W Super Cobra, which was primarily developed for the United States Marine Corps. The AH-1Z features a four-blade, bearingless composite main rotor system, uprated transmission, a new target sighting system, and can be used for air transport. Armies around the world are best trying to equip themselves with the most modern and powerful military arsenals to better defend themselves with these helicopters are one linked in that long chain. In no way do we endorse war, the only purpose of this video was to educate you people. With this note, we end today's video here. Thank you very much for watching it, do like and share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the amazing upcoming videos.